So this is a canal, as you can see. Uh, there was a big fall here, a big rock fall. It looks like they're trying to pick it all up, actually. Um, possibly to reopen it. See all the works going on there. A nice uh, World War II bunker. However, as you can see, I'll show you from the bottom, it's been eaten away. Uh, looks like they're using all of this for the works. And we've just managed to get up here. Just another one there. And over the other side of the canal, there's there. There's another bunker. From the bottom, as you can see, <laughs> they've seriously undermined that. Can't see it being up there for much longer, to be honest with you. And it'll be gone. So we're at the Corinth Canal, um, sadly it's not running anymore due to a collapse, uh, which I showed you just a minute ago in a previous video, uh, which looks like they're excavating it now, so maybe they are trying to open it back up again. Um, but more importantly, I was just stood right on the edge looking down and I just seen a jackal. Jackal! I've never ever seen a jackal before. Jackal. So we've just got to the peninsula where we're probably going to stay tonight and there is an actu actually an archaeological site around here which is free to enter. It's all to do with a hydraulic pumping station, is that right? said to that one. It just went, the ginger one just went to the tiger one, eat my ass. Do you agree? Fight. On. 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 Another lovely, peaceful night's sleep. I'm um, big drive today. We're gonna get some miles under our belt and um, four-ish hours, a couple of breaks, <clears throat> maybe five. So Google continually screwed us over today. No matter how many times we put nose holes, no matter how many times we declined the alternative route, he tried to take us on toll roads and we just ended up going through a toll and it was 9.75. to do about one kilometer on that toll. It literally took us on at the toll booth where you pay. So the way the tolls work here is um, you get on the motorway um, and then you don't get a ticket like you do in Italy um, and other countries uh, and then you end up 
come into a toll booth and you pay regardless. Um, so yeah, we paid nine euro seventy five for one kilo. Mint. Yeah, it's a nice parking spot. It's an absolute hole for rubbish. But I'm gonna go and put some gloves on and start picking some of it up. Because you have to leave places better than you found them. All right, it's a lot better than it was, but it's still, like you can see behind me, it's still horrific. Um, we only have one bin bag, so. Yeah, it was our last, it was our last. Yeah, it was our last bin bag. Um, and, uh, but it is, it is full. Full to the brim. Uh, mostly plastic bottles, straws, fishing line, rope. Um, and I will say actually, whilst we've been having a little rummage round, the shore of this, uh, the bank of this um, little cove. beachy area, cove, it isn't sand, it's all plastic. I mean, like, it is all plastic. It is awful. Yeah, those microplastics they talk about a lot. They're not exaggerating. No. So, no. take a leaf out of our buck. Yeah. Do what you can, even if it's one small bag, pick up what you can. We also found an old um, intervenous drip, which was yeah, delightful. Yeah. And I think there was a sanitary towel as well. Yeah. So, gloves or little pickers if you can. Ours broke. I mean, you can see where we haven't touched behind us here. You see it all going down the shore. Yeah. And if Kerry turns the camera around that way, so there's still bits and little bits and bobs and bigger bits we're going to pick up and pile up somewhere out of the way. But you can see the difference on that side where we've just filled out this bin bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we got some more bin bags. Um, this will all, all this in here is plastics, by the way. So they do have blue recycling bins here um, for plastics. So we will empty this into the recycling bin. So it will get recycled. And they do actually recycle plastic in Greece. We went past they the do. place, didn't we? Um, and they, they even pay, sometimes pay yeah, you. They pay you for your plastic bottles. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Okay. okay, it's a new day. Uh, we are heading off today. Another biggish driving day under our belts. The weather's really turning here in Greece. So we are, um, we're going to make a push for Turkey, I think, over the next couple of weeks. Still going to take us some time. Big old place, Greece. Um, but we're going to head over. I think we're going to go and stop and see a memorial today, actually. Good morning. All right, let's talk about the Greek toll road in a minute. All right, it's a bit of a con, really. As you can see, toll road, but we're not on a toll road. Um, this road literally runs alongside this one. Um, but what we've noticed is any road adjacent to the toll road has a weight restriction on. Most of them are two and a half to three and a half ton. <laughs> Everybody ignores it. It's not because of like any bridges or weak roads. It's literally to force the lorries, which pay the most money, onto the toll road. When you're on the toll road, it is just mostly freight on there. All the cars are not on the toll road. Because why do they need to go on the toll road? So, so yeah, so we're kind of like, I know, I'm not, I don't want to say we're, we're bad. We're, we're being careful about our routes, but we're kind of just ignoring the weight restrictions. Um, because they're blatantly just there to force you onto a toll road to pay the money. We're not that silly, apart from yesterday. Sparta! Now, I gave them license to model me, but, you know, for free. You must be really old. What? Yeah, well, but, they, they, but they, they've mixed something up. They mixed up the junk on this one with the junk on that one. I don't know what happened. Agree? I'm gonna say nothing. Now, I'm pretty sure you've all seen the film 300. Well, we are in the spot where that battle took place. Now the story is 400 the story is 480 BC, the Persians. Why is it whenever I talk? It's a car goes past, I don't know. 480 BC, 
the Persians decide to invade Greece with 1,700,000 troops. Now the Persians come here and they face an almighty force, 300 Spartans and 700 Thespians. Now obviously, a thousand against 1.7 million, but they put up a bloody good fight. So just for everyone who recommended and told us we absolutely must go and check out these hot springs, we did go check them out, but we didn't go in. Um, it's just not our cup of tea, this one. Um, we'll, go, we'll go in some, eventually, uh, just a little bit more wild. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, more up in the mountains um, is more our thing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people in there and it's... Um, Hence why we didn't film, because there's lots of people in the swimming colonies and stuff. Anyway, let's go. We need to go and get some lithium grease. So we'll pop into the local town. I found an auto pipe centre. And yeah, let's go. Let's have coffee. Possibly. We're going to be getting grease for the truck, then uh, I'll ask for that as well. Mission accomplished on the lithium grease. Uh, two tubes, 12 euros. Um, not so much on the coffee though. Never mind. All right, we're at tonight's park up, hopefully, providing we don't get moved along. Um, I'm gonna put the kettle on. You will notice if you come to Greece, there are coffee shops everywhere and they are full of locals. I attribute, attribute that to one thing. The coffee that you buy in the shops here is horrific. So um, everyone goes to coffee shops. Agree? Yeah. I wasn't listening. I, I, wasn't I was listening, listening. coffee. Um, yeah, so like uh, even the coffee in Lidl is not great to be honest with you. Um, I've yet to find a decent bag of coffee. Yes. Even the coffee shops don't sell the coffee that they brew, which is back in the UK, obviously they do. So yeah. Uh, we did bring like 500 PG tips tea bags there. Yeah, well, so. we just to be. No, we had 240 in a tub. We've now already used 240. And we're diving into our 560 bags. So, Mum, when you come out, I need. A thousand PG tips tea bags, please. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Nice. Nice. Wait. One. Nice. Nice. Good boy. Ow. It hit me. That's not good. No more treats there. It's my thumb off. Must be hungry. Lovely park up for the night, super peaceful, no one bothering us, no one around. It was it was lovely. We're driving on today. Um, we've literally just got a driving day, so we've stopped a little village stop halfway through. There's not a lot really happening at the moment. Um, not a lot planned other than driving. So we're going to sit down, have a little think, and we'll update you in a bit. Okay, so I've scuffed a couple of times this morning. Our route through the village we're going to take was uh, closed. Uh, low, there was a height restriction at some point on the road, so we didn't want to risk it. So we took a different route up through the mountains. Lovely olive groves, views, blah, blah. Uh, got to the town at the top, marky day. The roads are all closed. The roads are heaving. So we've had to turn around and we're coming back down all the roads, all the mountain roads. And then we'll figure it out from there. So we decided to stop the faffing around. We went back, we got on a toll road. Um, no booze getting on. Uh, we'll no doubt come across one before we get off because it's 45 kilometers on here now. So we shall see, we shall let you know. Um, these things happen, like, you know, mark your day. Okay, eight euros 70 and service absolutely without a smile. We stopped here. Mm -hmm. to cheer this one up, fighter jets mm. on the reg. 
Love you for the rest of the evening. Sounds a bit bigger than an F-16, two of them, wow. on the roof. So despite the very peaceful appearances this morning, that was not a peaceful night's sleep. Um, we like an early night because we're crap at staying up late. We're very good at getting up early. Um, but just after we drifted to sleep, just after Craig drifted into a very deep sleep, um, a car pulled up not far in front of us. And I don't know what kind of sound system that kid's got, but the truck was shaking. Um, so we woke up in a start, felt like we were under attack, um, sat up for a little while. <laughs> and then I got off back off to sleep eventually, uh, lots of comings and goings. And then all the dogs that were sleeping underneath the truck started off having their, their own little party. So yeah, it was a rough night. Fire jets, totally worth coming down into the fire jets. I would not recommend for a night's sleep. Oh, and when the wind changes direction, you get the lovely smell from the factory down the road. Don't know what they're making in there, but it smells toxic. I'm going to introduce them to uh, the party animals in a minute. You're going to introduce them yeah. to the party animals. So this is Barking Up Barker's son. Say hello to the people on the camera. Yes, hello, look at those beautiful eyes. You were very noisy last night. Yes, I don't know why I gave you a treat this morning. Right, this is Barking Up Barker's son's son. Number two, stop licking my legs. There you go. And here comes his... Uh, Two brothers. There's Barking Up Barker's son and Barking Up Barker's son again. Yeah, get down you. Right, right. Right, yeah. there's none of that fight in this. Yeah. And, uh, oh, here comes Brutus. Hey up, Brutus. How are you doing this morning? You good? Yeah, there we go. So this is how many. Uh, and there's, there's actually more than this, by the way. How many dogs? Huh? I was going to say there were a couple of missing. Yeah, there's a few missing. But yeah, there we go. Right. Right. Down. Right, also, who wants to own up? Wait, who wants to own up to that? Who was it? And then who who did the other three as well? Because you've done all four of my wheels. Wait. Hi. For those of you who don't know, Craig's actually highly allergic to dogs. Absolutely adores them, loves them, wants one in the future. I um, cannot resist a dog. Um, but then they all start jumping up and licking him and he has to run away. One of them has just licked my leg above my knee and is itching already. 
Worth it? What? Worth it? Worth it, yeah, it's worth a bit. Park up a very small beach. Uh, that there is Mount Olympus. We've just seen some uh, helicopters flying over, serious ones. We've also just seen a couple getting a little bit frisky on the beach. Tonight's park up is technically another beach, but it's um, what do you call them? Salt pans. Salt pans, big pile of salt over there, and there are flamingos. I'm gonna try and get a picture, but they're pretty far away, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, we'll snip in whatever we've got. It might just be a blurry blob, but it's a flamingo, I promise. Not very nice, but reality of plastic. Seagull there, got caught up in a plastic um, container. Killed it. So we've just arrived at what we had hoped would be our park up. It's a beautiful area, like wetlands, but you may have just got a glimpse. It's, um, it's another shithole. Um, and sadly, the further we travel this way, the worst it's getting. So, um, despite the flamingos and otters and fish and this this lovely area, what would be a lovely area, I think we're gonna have to move on. Took an age to get here as well. Uh, we had a massive detour, about a 20 kilometer detour, uh, because we were crossing the wetlands and the roads were fine. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, came this bridge with a um, five ton weight restriction. I mean, the bridge looked like if you spat on it, it would collapse, it was that bad. Um, so then we, it was either double back and it was, I'm talking miles, or then we, we cut through a farmer's lane, like an off-road track, which cut a massive corner off. Yeah, it's just been a bit of a nightmare to get out of you, and uh, yeah, it's just some, sex workers area obviously um just use condoms everywhere i mean they are everywhere so yeah hopefully we'll be staying here tonight it's a good old day park for now yeah okay and it's real bad weather as well tonight so kind of like need to find somewhere to stay so back onto it i'm and, and those tracks look at that mud we drove down we drove down the road a little bit and this is much better it's quieter it's cleaner um the reviews on park for night are good so we'll try it here for the night we're gonna have a brew we're gonna go for a run we're gonna see what's see what's going for a run yeah. for a little run carry in the wetlands and it's raining down 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 come here Time. 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 Google. Morning, gents. Need to pass, please. We could just um. So we are up early. 
driven into Thessaloniki. We need to do some laundry and stuff. We don't often drive into big towns and cities, but today we have. Um, let's see how it goes. It's busy, but well, let's see. This is not parking. These are traffic lanes. We are parked and it only took one go around the sea. That was mental. Like literally mental. Bigger and busier than the last town or city that we were in, yet somehow considerably less stressful. I don't know whether that's just because it's been like, it's been a long time since we were last in the city. We've been traveling a little bit longer, probably a little bit more mellow. Right, but I cool. really need a coffee. Got here at the right time. Loads of coaches. Right. Laundry in. I know there's a coffee place next door but one. Another market day. Thankfully not scuppering us in the truck today though. Yeah. Tonight's park up, another absolutely filthy beach. So we're going to pick up some rubbish shortly. However, the interesting thing around here is actually there are a load of old bunkers. And he's got his, uh, he's got his head torch this time. Okay, so it's full of hornet nests. See up here, I just put the torch on and then as we go in, see them all out there. I think they're hornets. Um, but yeah, and then we go in here. Let's have a look. All right. In there. Yeah. You can see Penelope in the background over there. Bit of a bit of a wonder, the beach. The beach is cool over there, and then you turn the corner, it just looks really idyllic over there, and then everywhere. So sadly, reality of most park ups we've had in the last couple of weeks is rubbish. Polyponese was fine. Um, as soon as we came away from the Polyponese. Uh, it just seemed to get worse and worse and worse. As you can see, there is rubbish strewn across. Hello. Hi. It's everywhere. Both sides of the truck. There's even a chair there. Yeah, I see that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some gloves on and we'll fill up a bag or two. Uh, we'll throw everything up on top of the cab and we'll find some bins to uh, get rid of it. And we'll show you what it looks like after. Yes? Back to task. <laughs> Key roll. Oh. Thing is, a lot of it was really old, which means that people have been here, people have even parked here and they haven't picked it up. Now, part of this whole lifestyle is you leave places better than you found them. So, um, why not what you're all playing at? Okay. Go up on top of the roof rack. You see, all nice and clear. Oh God. So now when other people come here, they can enjoy the area too. What I will say is, pull your fingers out. Your back, some people have been bagging it up and they just throw the bags on the floor. Crazy, isn't it? It's like, it's equivalent to picking up your dog shit and leaving it in a bag on the side of the road. What's the point? So we stayed here two nights in the end. Today we are leaving. Don't film me, I've got food all over my house, Joker. We've had already only solar for two days. So I've actually actually been, been running the truck in the evening. Um, it's been so dark. Uh, we actually struggled with power, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's not been great. Yeah, Greece, where's the sun? Yeah. From beautiful beaches to, I mean, 
definitely less pretty harbourside park ups but we are right by a um what do you call them the fire station i'm gonna go for a wander hello from kavala yes hello from kavala we're currently in the port um yep. we are staying here tonight mm -hmm. Um, well, hopefully staying here tonight, we shall see. Uh, we'll park next to a fire station and a bit of vacant land. Hopefully that'll go well. Um, and then we are moving on, heading east, um, hoping to cross the border to Turkey soon. Yeah, I think so, in the next few days. So you will have noticed from this video, there's a lot of driving and stopping. There's not a lot else going on. No. The traffic, the traffic? The weather has turned really bad. Yeah, so we've had storm after storm after storm. Mm -hmm. So there's loads of weather fronts coming in. So yeah, we're going to head over to Turkey, yep. um, save 30 days of our Sengen. So at least we can then come back if we want to. Um, weather. Yeah, so it just gives us a bit of um, flexibility, shall we say. <laughs> anyway, I think we're done. One last thing, as per usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. It's free and it helps us a lot. Uh, even the comments, just because the algorithms, uh, it's very good. So comment, say hello. Hello. Hi. And thank you very much to our patrons. Yep, as always, okay. you're amazing. Yep. Thank you. Top stuff. And don't forget, if you see any rubbish, pick it up. Yeah. So that's signing out for the week. See you in Turkey. Ciao.